Hi everybody, it's Latasia, and I'm going to give you a little update about what I've been doing this past week. As you all know, I posted a vlog about going natural last week and did a short little two-strand twist tutorial. Well, last week I started passing out cards, you know, bringing people to the site so they can, you know, see what's going on and what I've been doing, and I was kind of surprised about, you know, the warm welcome that I got from people. You know, it's kind of one of those things that when you're doing something new, you have something and you, you don't know how people take it because it's kind of, you know, we don't talk about this too much, but, you know, I kind of passed my cards out and, you know, it was kind of like a girl, you know, I've been trying to do this for a year myself and, you know, I've only got this far, you know, what do you use? And, you know, I, I've been using this and I don't, I don't know what to do. And, you know, what, what, what do you do? And, you know, at that point, I was like, um, you know, wow, I never really thought about how people would take this and how to kind of answer those questions. So I, you know, I'm going to go over that now in my update. Well, as you know, I've been natural for about a year and a half. I wouldn't say like I'm a veteran by any means. I want to say at this point, I'm just now beginning to scratch the surface of, you know, my hair, what my hair's potential is, what I can do with my hair, you know, how to take care of my hair. And, you know, I'm getting excited, you know, to see how it's growing. But, you know, when I first started to go natural, it was definitely not like this. Um, the big thing that got me to go natural was when I did my last relaxing job and everything, let's just say it, it fell out. Like at this point, you know, I had right here had about that much hair, you know, on my sides, the hair was about that long. The back was longer. I mean, it was a mess. It was scary. You know, at that point I basically didn't want to leave my house. You know, I was embarrassed. I didn't know what to do, but of course, how do you fix everything? Well, I had a three, four wig, a fall, I guess you call it. It has the clips, you know, in the front of it and the clips in the back, but it only comes to right here. So I put that fall on and of course, straighten the front to make it lay down and I kept going. Well, shortly after that, of course, I straightened this with a flat iron and the part that I straightened fell out. So that's when I really thought to myself, you know, I'm just not going to use heat anymore. It's clearly not working for my hair. I need to do something different. So when that happened, I just came to the point, you know, I already look bad. What am I going to do? Just keep straightening my hair, keep putting it in wigs or, you know, I could not straighten my hair and, you know, learn about my hair and put it under the wig anyways, but at least it'll be growing. And, you know, I I'll just, you know, see where that goes. Well, the month after that happened and, you know, my hair first fell out I didn't leave the house too much. <laughs> I think I was also pregnant with my third child and it was kind of winter. So that kind of, you know, helped with, I didn't really have to leave the house too much. Um, I remember about six months into it, you know, telling my kids as I was cutting more of the dead hair out, I was like, you know, I'm just going to get used to the fact that this, this straight hair is gone. You know, this, new hair that's growing this is it and it's only about this long but you know I can I can see it I can I can see it getting you know it's thicker I can see it's healthier and and then I started telling my kids you know mommy's going through a transformation she's going to look different you know mommy's you know letting her hair get natural and, and look it looks just like your hair because my kids are a big reason why I decided to go natural you know, they're just boys. They're not going to go through all the hair drama, but learning how to take care of their hair and knowing that they would never get relaxers made me think to myself, you know, that's what I should do to my hair. You know, how can I do their hair 
and then do my hair and say, okay, well, your hair is supposed to be curly and long or short or however they do it, but your wife's hair is supposed to be straight and this, that, and the other. I, I just couldn't keep doing that. So that was a big help in me going natural. And I just kept telling myself, you know, while I was in the transition six months, seven months, I'm just going to look different. Just get used to this. I'm going to be ugly, you know. I It's not ugly. This is different, you know. Wow, wow, this is, look at my hair. It's, look how thick it is. Look how it's, you know, wow, how, wow. I feel bad for everyone else who has to kind of put up with burning their hair and that doesn't look nat. This is beauty. This is natural. And then at that point, you know, it had a kind of a uh, trickle down effect, I would say, on my weight. Because recently, looking at my hair, you know, coming to love it, you know, I still wear my wigs, you know, because I am lazy. I'm a mother of three. Sometimes I just don't feel like getting up and doing my hair. But, you know, it's had an effect as in, you know, I'm starting to look at what I eat in my diet, um, you know, working out a little bit more. Hopefully, you know, we'll see a difference with working out in a few months. But, you know, I just have to keep saying to myself, like my, my oldest son, who's seven, says, Mom, every day you can see your dream. And I just tell him, yes, every day I see my dream and I'm getting closer and closer to it. And it's, and it's just kind of been making everything better. Speaking of which, my kids, of course, they're about to be awake soon. So we have to hurry on with this video. Um, things I'm going to be doing with my hair this week. As you can see, I've been rocking this twist out for about a week and a half. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't really keep the, you know, tabs on the days. When I get up, you know, sometimes I do sleep in my uh, satin scarf, but not every night I fall asleep. I'll get up, I'll put some oil on my hair, run it through, maybe some olive oil. And usually I don't have it up like this, but yesterday I took the kids to the water park and I didn't want it all over the place, so I put it up. The buns were a little bit tighter, but of course, you don't want anything pooling on your hair. So when I got done with the water park, I loosened them up, you know, because I don't want anything to be pooling on my hair. And I'll probably leave my hair like this, and I'll just take some more olive oil, and I'll put it through, or I'll get my sunflower lotion moisturizing gel, and I'll put that through, And but this will be it. I probably will be wearing this hairstyle all week. Um, check out more for more updates. I think uh, in my next tutorial, I will be taking this down and putting some other braids up. I'm not sure. It's 102 degrees today and it is hot in my area. So, of course, everything that I do is going to be based off of not wearing my hair out <laughs> and it being away. So thank you for looking at my channel. Check back often and I hope you are all having a blessed and safe week. Talk to you later everybody. Bye! A couple tips for taking care of your hair when you are in and out of the water in the summertime. As, you know, I get a lot of questions for going swimming, you know, what should I do before and after I get in the pool if I want my hair not to get dry, brittle, and start breaking off? A couple tips. One, get your hair wet before you get into the water. I know it is like a contradiction. No one really wants to get their hair wet, especially if they might not be getting their hair wet in the pool. But... Go ahead and get your hair wet, you know, wring it out. The theory is, is if you get into the water with your hair already wet with some sort of conditioner added if you want to. Sometimes I like to just lightly put some conditioner, lotion type, not the oil type because oil sits on the surface. I think conditioner kind of absorbs. Put the conditioner in 
then get into the water. Your hair is less likely to absorb the chlorine water if your hair has already got water and conditioner in it. So get your hair wet before you get into the water. After you get out of the water, of course, you don't have to wash your hair, but you know, you can condition or wash. Definitely rinse your hair off when you get out of the water. You wouldn't want your hair to dry with the chlorine on your hair. So rinse your hair off when you get out of the water. Um, you don't really have to dry. When I get out, I just kind of boop, boop, because my hair is in these braids. Water falls off, and I go about my day. Um, I pretty much will not do anything else to my hair, but add extra moisture to my hair when I get up in the morning if it feels a little bit dry. Other than that, those are a couple tips that you can use when getting in and out of the pool all summer to keep your hair healthy. Talk to you later. Every day I see my dream. Every day I see my every day I see my dream. Every day I see my dream.